Hello everyone, today we're going to do a review of the Romantic Tarot. Um, this is a, let's see, the, it's by Emanuela Signorina, Signorini, artwork by Julia F. Messaglia, and it's a Lo Scarabio, <laughs> I, might not, I might be saying all of those wrong, but anyway, that's, it's a Lo Scarabio um, tarot deck. And uh, I really love the artwork of this deck. I'm so excited to show it to you. It comes with a classic, you know, like little white book, basically. And then um, on the back, we've got these beautiful rose patterns. So something that I really love about this deck is that each, um, each suit takes place in a different romantic, um, European city. Let me tell you what they are exactly. So the chalices are in Venice, the pentacles are in Rome, the wands are in Paris, and the swords are in Vienna. So that is really fun and I will say that um, it's taking time for me to study this before I actually like really using it in readings because the um, the meanings are slightly different than the traditional tarot, although they align in many ways, but each of them have to do with situations that are focused purely on romance and love. So I think this would be a great deck to be using in romance and love readings. But let me take you through and we'll take a look at the actual cards themselves. So um, let's start with the Major Arcana. I'm just going to go ahead and pull all of those out here. Okay, got the 21 cards. So I'll just kind of go through it in order. Let me zoom in just a bit so you can really see. around. There's our Empress. Might have to flip some of these around our Emperor. Yeah. <laughs> so many of these are upside down. Oops. Oh, I will, I will say that um, these are kind of switched I did notice this, that I believe that like this is strength here and that is usually switched um, with another one. I'll, I'll let you know when we get to it, but the, um, the meanings in the booklet are switched to the images. And so this is good to know, the card number eight, I believe that this one is strength here and that's not what it says in the booklet and I'll show you the other one when we get to it. The other one that's different. I think, it, I think it's justice, honestly. I think it's this one. I think it's justice that's um, switched. But definitely the other one's strength. I think this is justice and that is strength and the book says something different, so. Yeah. And there we have it, that is the Major Arcana. And now let's take a look at each suit. Um, all right, let's start here with the Pentacles. One, two, Three. I know I'm going fast, but you can, you know, pause on each image if you need it. Five, six, I just want you to get an overview of the whole deck. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There's the, um, the page, sorry, the knight, the queen, and the king. So as you can see, each of these, like, basically there's the symbol. You've got the, the crown for the king, the symbol of the pentacle, the number up here, the pentacle, it's, it's, it's very much like that. The um, symbol for the page is this little hat with a feather, the knight is this horse, 
the queen is this this crown here and the king is this more elaborate crown so that is what we have okay then next let's take a look at the cups all right so there's one two three four five Seven, eight, nine, ten, page, knight, queen, and king. And now let's take a look at the swords. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Page, knight, queen, and king. And lastly, let's look at wands. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look how scandalous this looks here. Oh my goodness. Nine, ten, eleven. Sorry, that's the um, page, knight, queen, and king. So yeah, um, so I really love the artwork. I think I think that the situations seem very inspiring, um, especially to do with love situations, you know. Um let me know what you think about this deck down below. I'm very excited to use it with love readings, but it's going to take time to study it, absolutely. So I'm gonna leave it in order for myself to study up on this deck and hopefully you'll see it in future readings of mine. Um, thank you so much for being here. And again, please comment down below what you think of this deck and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.